Hi, I'm Tamara. Welcome to Noah Fisheries, our fish farm in Whitby, Ontario, Canada. Today I'm going to show you a few different strains of tilapia. This here is a Hawaiian gold. It is most commonly found in Hawaii and is grown in the oceans. It can tolerate full seawater as well as fresh water. Uh, it, we found that it's not such a good commercial strain for temperate climates just because the growth is a little bit slower than the other strains. But it is a beautiful fish and you might be able to find a market for it just on its beauty. Moving on to the commercial strains. <laughs> this, sorry we only have a little one, is a black Nile tilapia. So black Nile tilapia is also known as silver or natural Nile tilapia. It is the most common, uh, most closest to the wild and it is also the fastest growing. It is often used mostly for fillet market just because you can see how fat he is and how good nice a fillet that you can get off this guy. In other markets they might uh, recognize this more often such as Latin market and they might like a smaller fish such as a 600 gram fish rather than the 750 or pound and a half just because they like to barbecue the fish whole so that might be another potential market for you either for the fillet market or growing it smaller for for uh, a barbecue market size. This is a red Nile tilapia for your Thomas Nilotticus. This one is bred so that it looks exactly like this guy, a red snapper. So this is what most people, um, what many markets do is they sell this as a red snapper because most people can't tell the difference. And if you buy sushi, they found that 70% of sushi that is sold as red snapper is actually this guy. So this is also common for the red, uh, sorry, the live market. Some uh, cultures believe that red is a lucky color. They like to have a red fish on the table. So this might be a good market for you if you have that those kind of cultures closer to you. It's also fairly fast growing. Um, and uh, so it's almost comparable to black, but not quite as close. And I also have this beautiful white Nile tilapia. So this white guy, he's had all of his, he's had most of his stripes have been bred out. And this is, um, again, the Nile strain. It's faster growing than some of the other strains, but it's still slower than the black. So you have to find out whether, um, for as in a temperate climate, a few extra months mean extra dollars. So you have to see if you can get a good price for this, uh, this strain of Nile tilapia, um, just because the growth is a little bit slower than the black. Um, some cultures believe that white is clean, so they like to have a white fish, and um, they've heard all the hype that tilapia is a dirty fish, so they want to find one that's all white because they believe that it's clean and that it's more healthy. So this might be an option for you. Last but not least, I have my pet fish, Hercules. He is a beautiful blue, not blue Oreochromus aureus. You can see that it has, he has the blue color. And this um, strain has been more cold tolerant. Um, they can go down to 10 degrees as an adult for uh, short periods. Um, some people say that their strains of white Nile tablet can also go colder. Um, but Usually they like to be grown as optimum, so you don't want to have your fish suffer. You want them to be grown as, as at optimum uh, temperature and optimum quality as possible. But this guy is beautiful. It's also known as Israeli tilapia. This strain was developed in Israel and can also be found in the wild in uh, some lakes and streams in Israel. So we encourage you to um, know your farmer and to raise your fish. <laughs> know what your fish are eating. And um, if you'd like to, to, to uh, try raising tilapia, you can order from us online at www.noafisheries.ca. Thank you.